Hello everyone and welcome back to the Common Sense Crypto Channel. As with you always, this is Rich doing another video today on XRP. So I hope you're all having a wonderful day today wherever you are in this great, great world. We're going to talk about XRP. And I got to start with this from Sir Trades A Lot. Binance, fast facts about XRP. XRP is a native token of the XRP ledger founded in 2012 by David Schwartz, Jed McCaleb, and Arthur Brito. XRP utilizes a consensus mechanism called the XRP Ledger Consensus Protocol to validate transactions. XRP is scalable up to 1,500 transactions per second, but can achieve up to tens of thousands of transactions per second. I think Binance wants to make sure people are hopping on the XRP train. But they're not wrong about the transactions. This comes from King Valex. With the technologies we've helped build at Ripple, XRP, and Interledger, we can process trillions of transactions per second without any central authority. That comes from Stephen Thomas. You know, they always used to say, well, XRP can only do 1,500 transactions per second. That's not going to be enough. But now we know as we pushed into the future that it can process trillions of transactions per second. And that's game changing. Now, I shared this post on X, but it wasn't complete because there was so much more I wanted to say, but I didn't want to type it all out. So people are wondering, what will happen once utility plays a factor in some of these ISO cryptocurrencies? I think a few things will happen actually. The cycles will change for sure. No more four-year cycles. It will be a cycle breaker. We tend to follow Bitcoin, but we will follow adoption instead. Meaning as more institutions jump in, the price and cycle will continue. We have never seen a utility run before so nobody knows how long this will last and how high the prices may go what i mean by that is this once utility and adoption is happening for xrp and the rest of these iso cryptocurrencies as say for instance you're dealing with two central banks that just went live with cbdc now, they have to move that CBDC from one bank to another and back and forth. That will continue the cycle because more value will be flowing into XRP because XRP would be moving all of that value back and forth on a daily basis. Then you got to bring in tokenization on top of that. That will keep the momentum going and the value pushing even higher pullbacks won't be as big because actual value will hold up the prices so no run up to say twenty dollars and a pullback to three dollars those days will be over you know even when we do start to see utility drive the price of xrp there's going to be run-ups and there's going to be people calling the top saying this has to be the top i would sell now before it pulls back but I think the pullback, say if we did run up to $20, maybe we pull back to $18 and then push higher because it's going to be real value behind these cryptocurrencies. It's not like we're going to be following a normal cycle anymore. If the new financial system is live by the time we get to the next cycle, which I think is more likely, more than likely, Cryptocurrencies like XRP, XLM, XDC, and the rest of the ISO cryptocurrencies will be running the entire crypto space. All the retail money will have shifted as well, holding prices at a high stable value. Once you start to see that utility pushing the price, anybody holding even Bitcoin or Ethereum, they're going to shift that money. Smart people will shift that retail money into utility. That's what I see happening. This will all happen through crypto regulations and hype will be gone. Memes will be gone.
the grown-ups will be the only ones left in this space because this is going to happen once we have crypto regulations it's going to happen really fast because all of a sudden every single institution and bank will then have the green light on certain cryptocurrencies the rest will just disappear i think bitcoin will still be with us there just won't be any real value in bitcoin anymore xrp would most likely be the number one cryptocurrency xlm will be up there as well qnt hbar the whole crypto space will look so much different than it does right now cycles will be gone forever and that's what i see happening what are your thoughts on that put it in the comment section down below ripple ceo says xrp is the next bitcoin here's why unlike bitcoin which was initially designed to operate outside the traditional financial system xrp was created to be integrated within it this distinction has allowed ripple to forge partnerships with various financial institutions globally providing xrp with credibility and utility not found in other cryptocurrencies you know why bitcoin really doesn't have a future because it's designed to operate outside of the traditional financial system it's designed to be competition for a cbdc in the future and they're not going to have that the reason xrp is going to be part of the future is because it's not competition it actually improves the u.s dollar it can fix the current u.s dollar it could make the u.s dollar move around the world in a matter of seconds at a very cheap price that's what sets xrp apart from the rest and that's why we are going to watch the slow destruction of bitcoin happen over time ripple might become its own bank xrp's role in cross-border transactions ripple payments direct streamlines cross-border fiat payments and eliminates the need for users to buy sell or hold xrp making it accessible to all like i said it can fix the current financial system but ripple is going to become a bank xrp is at the heart of everything that ripple does so if ripple was to become a bank xrp is still going to hit those high prices we always had vision for it's going to definitely make us branches of the ripple bank is what i'm saying now i talked a lot about tether's implosion which i definitely think is coming and smoke he summed it up very simple right here tether's implosion is not difficult to imagine when you fully comprehend all the facts within the tether files it honestly wouldn't take much to implode and likely will play out like this a credible report surfaces casting doubt on tether's reserves suggesting they tied up in risky illiquid assets rather than the claimed one-to-one -one backing by u.s dollars we know tether is not backed one-to-one -one by u.s dollars institutional investors quietly begin to convert their tether holdings into more stable assets causing subtle fluctuations in tether's value as rumors spread tether starts trading below a dollar panic sets in and smaller investors rush to sell off their tether eroding its value exchanges begin delaying or freezing tethers withdrawals citing liquidity issues the stablecoin loses its peg entirely dropping rapidly in value as confidence collapses the crypto market experiences a massive disruption and tethers implosion becomes a stark warning of the risk inherent in unregulated financial instruments bitcoin tanks eth tanks and only regulated blockchains and compliant stable coins like rlusd will remain to capture all of that lost liquidity don't believe me check out the documentation below we've known this for such a long time but yet when you point this out to people 
they don't see it ever happening. I think it's going to happen because they are going to clear the path forward for Ripple's new stablecoin and USDC. I think it's already part of the plan. Remember when people were warning people about the fall of FTX and nobody was listening because big celebrities were pushing FTX? Same thing's happening, happening right now with Tether. You have all the smart people in this space pointing out the problems with Tether, but nobody wants to hear it. South Korea's Cook Min Bank to halt U.S. dollar SWIFT transfers for Kyrgyzstan's banks in September. So you see, the banks that are going to break away from the U.S. dollar listed right here. So the National Bank of Kyrgyzstan attributed the move to expanding sanctions and stricter regulatory requirements imposed by Western countries. These measures have increased the scrutiny on cross-border payments, impacting their commercial bank's operations. Financial experts warn that this discontinuation could pose challenges for international trade, particularly with Alibaba and Western nations. But again, they're breaking away from the U.S. dollar because of sanctions. But I think South Korea already has a solution going forward. APAC, Ripple, GME remittance since August 2021. Global Money Express Company Limited, one of the largest non-bank remittance service providers in South Korea, has joined RippleNet in 2019. What's going on is this. All the countries that are, seem to be breaking away from the U.S. dollar already have somehow ties to Ripple, whether it be direct ties to Ripple or through partners of Ripple. And I've been noticing that since this whole de-dollarization started. Note to mention of ACBDC, Thailand rolls out 10,000 THB digital wallet initiative. And you see right here, one key technology being used in developing the digital wallet is the Thai transfer program. It's the use of CBDC. But look at what they say right here. So the stimulus program outlines this. The payments can be spent at any shop that enrolls in the program, but cannot be used to buy certain goods like alcohol, tobacco, and electronic devices. The program is expected to enroll around 45 million people. With the registration period beginning on August 1st and payments expected to be distributed in the fourth quarter of this year. So they want to make sure that you're spending the money on certain things. And like I said, when a CBDC comes, they're going to do the same thing here in the United States. I think CBDC is going to be set up for anyone that gets government money, whether it be welfare, even social security, and then universal basic income. They're going to make sure that that money is only spent, that CBDC is only spent on certain things. They're going to control what you can buy with it. That's why I always stressed that you have to get rich before a CBDC happens. This way you can break away from CBDC. I think it's going to be a slow rollout. In other words, it's going to be anybody who's on government money. They will be tied to CBDC first. Later, they will then tie other people to a CBDC. Rich people, though, will not be living under a CBDC. Most likely, they will tie people to it through stimulus payments, like you see what's happening here in Thailand. But if you don't need stimulus or government money, you can live away from a CBDC. That could be a possible path forward. How does that happen? You get rich from your XRP. But you know, we're still early on this and I'm still trying to see where we go from here. We're going to get a good look at CBDC overseas before it ever happens in the United States. So we'll have a better idea on what it looks like going forward. But until it all happens, stay patient, stay positive, and let's get rich together. 
with that said, I'm going to wrap up this video. I want to thank you all for watching. I appreciate all of you. I'll see you in the next one. Have a great night.